Hello, guys. How are you? Hi, Manuel. How are you? Uh, good evening, teacher. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Nolan. Bye. Right. See you guys. Thank Happy Thursday. Almost Friday. <laughs> almost. Almost there. We almost make it, guys. <laughs> Teacher. Okay. Eh, yeah. eh, ¿Hasta cuándo termina este módulo? El martes. El martes. martes. Uh -huh. Por los dos días, el 15 y el 16, que uh -huh. se perdieron. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you have very few days. <laughs> Three more classes and that's it. <laughs> you can make it. You can make it, guys. <laughs> All right. So listen, we're going to give a few more minutes for the other ones to connect. But we're going to discuss a random question right now. Remember, we always ask a random topic question so we can discuss. And this one is going to be, would you rather have a job that is well paid and you hate, or a job that you love, but it's not well paid. What would you prefer, guys? And I'm gonna write it here on the whiteboard so everybody can see the question, okay? Would you rather have a well paid job that you hate, or a job that you love, you love that is not well paid. What would you prefer, guys? It's, it's difficult. Confused. It's mm -hmm. a difficult question, Miss. Yes. Huh? Yeah. It's a difficult question. <laughs> I know, <Because> right? You... <laughs> it's a different question. <laughs> remember there are two things when you when you have like a job that you don't like but it's well paid you like that you get well paid but you don't necessarily like what you do right so that's a different story and however if there is something that you love to do like i don't know like helping helping people helping animals i don't know anything like that but it's not well paid would you still like it or would you prefer it something else? In my case, in my case, teacher, mm -hmm. um, I, I am crazy. <laughs> I know <laughs> that it's not well paid. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. yeah. You know it's not well paid. Uh -huh. No well paid, but I love uh, the work and okay. is oh, pay, same pay. Mm -hmm. I'm not well paid, but I love the your you workplace uh, uh, the thing to make your your area, your work area and Walk, uh, walk to home <laughs> in my case. <laughs> okay. It's close to your home? Yeah. Oh. Walk, walk. It is very near. Uh -huh. near. It's very close. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's close. Very mm -hmm. well, home? Close. What? Close. Mm -hmm. Well, and I love my, my work. And no, not is very well paid, but I don't okay. know. American. <laughs> it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Well, that's a that's a good example. Thank you, Wendy, for sharing. Okay, that's a good example. Wendy says she doesn't get well paid, but she loves what she does, right? So she's not going to be looking for something else because she likes to do what she does. And she makes it work. <laughs> she makes it work with her salary, right? So that's a good that's a good example. Let's see who else. I want to hear your opinions, guys. Teacher, uh, uh, in my opinion, there, there's no there's no uh, perfect perfect job. 
but it can be the two uh, the two options in up, in one in one place mm -hmm. in one position. But I a uh, few years uh, ago I had a I was working in a restaurant, but uh, I I liked my my work, mm -hmm. but the, the pay uh, was badly. Oh. Uh, yes, but uh, monthly we we had. Discount for inventories and all all personal. Wow! But that is the reason. But I, I what do you say? Renuncié. I quit. I quit. Yes, mm -hmm. that is a reason. Uh, actually, uh, it's incredible. But <laughs> I have a uh, uh, good work. Uh, but this 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 company uh, actually uh, is the the recognized is recognized for the great work the the great job. Okay. It's, it's a qualification. I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. A great place to work. Okay, it's qualified as a great place to work. Well, yes, and the two is the two option. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. And um, well, good, good pay. <laughs> yeah. I think it also depends on people's circumstances, right? Because yes. sometimes you can do something that you love and maybe you are not making a lot of money, um, but maybe you really don't need a lot of money in that moment in your life, right? So I think it also depends on two factors. The moment in your life and the situation in your life depending also right and what you're mentioning <laughs> um regarding the word para decir renunciar you can say quit or you can uh, say resign resign mm -hmm. either or ah, es diferente que despido ¿verdad? es diferente que despido sí, eso es fire mm -hmm. eso es fire fire to get fired, sería ser despedido, to get fired. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's different, this is resigned. Uh -huh. Creo que es con una, uh -huh. resigned. Correct. All right, so let me hear the other ones. What would you prefer, guys? Would you rather have a job that is well paid, but you hate to do the job, or a job that you love that is not well paid? Let me hear you. Hello, Miss. Hi. I, I want to to tell to you my opinion. I mm -hmm. think I I think it depends uh, what you need, like you say, uh, because and and all and also you need to consider that the life right now is so expensive, uh, and yeah. if I have the opportunity to get a job that I I really don't don't like i hate but it's a well paid i think is the is the better decision and uh, also i think is because i if i like to travel for me it's better to get this job if mm -hmm. i like to to buy another things for me only for 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 I, pleasure <laughs> Only for my pleasure, yes, or if I want to 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 know some place or eat something, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think it's better to to get this job. But and in my case, I I I love my my job, but it's not I really love my job because I I am I, I like all related about tourism because I am a business administration, a business administration mm -hmm. of tourism. And, and I was a tour guide and tourism periodista, no sé, periodista. Uh -huh. Journalist. Journalist, 
about the, the tourism, but it's not a good, well-paid job. Oh, I so, would have thought so. <laughs> yes, so I need to, to search in other, in other ways. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I see your point. It's, I mean, it's not that it's necessary, but it's always better to have certain, certain let's say leisure, como um, flojes, li, como libertad certain leisure when it comes to money right as you were saying Christian if you like to travel if you like to spend a lot of money if you are the type of person that needs to buy the latest shoes or the latest clothes anything related you better get a good job right the well yeah. a good a good job that is well paid right now some well paid jobs are they they like they pay really really well but they are on, on a completely different extreme where they explode people. Um, I don't know if you guys, is, if any of you guys have ever been like that, but I have a friend that, he let, just an example, he was making, let's say $800, an example, in one company. And then he went to a different company and he went from making $800. And then in the next company, he was making like $2,000 salary. It was, he went really, really high. But yeah. in that other, but in that other position, it was terrible. He was never He had. He was never off work. He had to be available twenty four seven. If the boss wanted to call him at one a.m. in the morning, he would call at one a.m. in the morning, and he had to start working at that time. So then he started to get sick because, he, of course, he was not sleeping right. So you have to know what things you are willing to sacrifice, right? Willing, dispuesto a, what things you are willing to sacrifice? Willing to, dispuesto a, okay? You have to know what things you're willing to sacrifice when you get a job that is extremely well paid, for example, right? Nice. Okay, so we're gonna stop here with that conversation. We're gonna go to the student's manual right now. Bear with me. So we were discussing yesterday the importance for businesses, right? To have apps, to have apps where people, that people can download in their phones and that they can actually do the purchases, right? So we're gonna do the conversation reading right now. I'm gonna need two people. One is going to be Elsa and one is going to be Alex, please. Christian, read Elsa, please, and then one more volunteer for Alex. Wendy, please. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? 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 I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better, I better go to the, book the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software develop developer Developers may check out to complicate for the end users. I will leave, leave some feedback in their website. Very good, thank you. All right, we need two more volunteers to read the same conversation. One of you is gonna be Elsa and the other person is gonna be Alex. Let's see, I need two more volunteers. Diana, please read Elsa. And then I need one more person to read Alex. Let's see. Sylvia, please. You're going to read Alex. Go ahead, Adiana. Okay. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in. 
but you need to add your home address to your account or you want uh, or you won't be able to complete the purchase do i have to do it twice i remember entering my home address before this is so complicated forget about it i better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy that's good i was it looks like the software developer may check out too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback in their website. Very good, thank you. And we have the last round and I need two more volunteers to read the same conversation, Elsa and Alex. Anna, you are going to read Elsa, please. And I need Manuel to help me with Alex. Go ahead, please. Alex, I'm, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it? Twice, I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software develops, developers may check out too complicated for the end user. I will leave some feedback in their website. Very good. Thank you, everyone who participated in the conversation. So let's move on to exercise number three. All right. So we have question number one. What is Elsa trying to do, guys? What she's, is she trying to she's do? She's trying to buy a book. Correct. Thank you. Number two, what is the problem with the purchase? According to the conversation, what is the problem with the purchase? Uh, the ad, uh, no, the home address is not appearing in the account. Exactly, it's not helping her and it's not letting her go from the, yeah, the home address. Number three, what is Elsa going to do? What is she going to do in the end? What did she decide to do? Going to a bookshop yes. to buy a physical. Correct. And the last she question. A physical copy. Exactly, a physical copy. And number four, what does the e-shop need to do to make their software more user-friendly? This would be more like in your opinion, right? What does the user the e-shop or the store, the online store, what do they need to do to make their software more user-friendly? The checkout part, right? La sección del checkout, it needs to be fixed, right? It has to be easier for the customers, basically, okay? And that's what I'm telling you there, what they are telling you there. All right, so now that we've read this conversation, we're gonna watch a video. Bear with me for a minute. We're gonna watch two videos because they are short. And then we're gonna discuss them. Again, we're gonna do the same. Lo vamos a ver dos veces cada video. La idea es que capten o anoten algo de lo que ustedes captan, una idea o una oración, okay? Y luego lo comentan. El punto es que al final del video tengan algo que comentar al respecto. All right, let's begin. Let me know if you can see the screen, please. Yes, teacher. Thank you. People like things nice and simple, right? Like the convenience of being able to pay or be paid for goods and services provided over the internet. But what if you don't have a bank account? That would mean a majority of the people in the world not having access to easier and safer transactions. But guess what? 
some 1.7 billion of these people do have access to a mobile phone. So how can that help them avoid the risk, cost and inconvenience of using cash? Well, that's where M-Commerce comes in. M-Commerce enables people to conduct financial transactions using a mobile device like a cell phone or a tablet. The phone becomes a kind of a mobile wallet, but it's not just for pocket money. It can give you access to bank accounts, credit and access cards, loyalty cards, coupons, and it allows you to transfer money anytime, anywhere. So this means a world of new services for just about everyone, from those that don't have a bank account to those that do but would like the freedom to take their finances truly mobile. The Ericsson Wallet platform, for example, enables secure and convenient mobile financial services such as money transfers and making payments. And using Ericsson Converged Wallet, there are 1.7 billion mobile accounts connected to Ericsson's charging system that could easily be turned into mobile wallets. 2012 meant a big step for M Commerce as Ericsson and Western Union formed a strategic alliance. Mobile network operators can now offer their subscribers the world's largest money transfer network. And we're talking a lot of money. $350 billion are transferred annually, person to person, over mobile devices. And the ecosystem to support M Commerce is growing rapidly. Ericsson's M-Commerce Interconnect is a technology that will allow interoperability between operators and service providers such as banks, stores and payment networks. So it's exciting times for the M-Commerce industry which is expected to process more than 800 billion US dollars by 2016. And with a world of 50 billion connected devices expected by 2020, the implications and possibilities for how we manage and use our money are profound. All right, let me check if we can put some subtitles here to make it easier. I'm not sure this one is gonna let me, but we're gonna try. Just a moment. Okay, we're gonna watch it again, this time with subtitles, okay? Bear with me, please. Okay. People like things nice and simple, right? Like the convenience of being able to pay or be paid for goods and services provided over the internet. But what if you don't have a bank account? That would mean a majority of the people in the world not having access to easier and safer transactions. But guess what? Some 1.7 billion of these people do have access to a mobile phone. So how can that help them avoid the risk, cost and inconvenience of using cash? Well, that's where M-Commerce comes in. M-Commerce enables people to conduct financial transactions using a mobile device like a cell phone or a tablet. The phone becomes a kind of a mobile wallet. But it's not just for pocket money. It can give you access to bank accounts, credit and access cards, loyalty cards, coupons. And it allows you to transfer money anytime, anywhere. So this means a world of new services for just about everyone. From those that don't have a bank account to those that do but would like the freedom to take their finances truly mobile. The Ericsson Wallet platform, for example, enables secure and convenient mobile financial services such as money transfers and making payments. And using Ericsson Converged Wallet, there are 1.7 billion mobile accounts connected to Ericsson's charging system that could easily be turned into mobile wallets. 2012 meant a big step for M-Commerce as Ericsson and Western Union formed a strategic alliance. Mobile network operators can now offer their subscribers the world's largest money transfer network. And we're talking a lot of money. $350 billion are transferred annually, person to person, over mobile devices. And the ecosystem to support M-Commerce is growing rapidly. Ericsson's M-Commerce Interconnect is a technology that will allow interoperability between operators and service providers, such as banks, stores and payment networks. So it's exciting times for the M-Commerce industry, which is expected to process more than 800 billion US dollars by 2016. 
and with a world of 50 billion connected devices expected by 2020, the implications and possibilities for how we manage and use our money are profound. Right, so let's discuss this video first before we move with the next one. I want to hear your comments or your notes about it. Volunteers? What's M-commerce according to the video or what did you understand it is? Do we have volunteers? Manuel? <laughs> I didn't. I saw I you were adjusting. <laughs> yes, I, put, put it, uh, I pay attention, but uh, I, I didn't to, to understand. Okay, did you, get a, did you get a sentence, a word or anything? Yes, but uh, I, I understood in, about Ericsson and Western Union. Uh, they, this is the, the part that I can say, uh, uh, they, they have, they have an uh, alliance. Okay, to, that's um, true. To, mm -hmm. to encompass, because I, I, I was, uh, I remember uh, Ericsson, Ericsson is uh, our client in, in the company. Oh, wow. <laughs> but <laughs> I was uh, to connect my, my brain in, mm -hmm. Uh, many years uh, ago, uh, Ericsson, they had an uh, uh, alliance with uh, Sony about cell phones. Mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, actually, I didn't have uh, any idea about uh, what in what works Ericsson, but, but about this, from this video, I understand uh, about the uh, they have uh, M commerce uh, wallet, Ericsson wallet. I understood. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, electronic. Uh, Actually, you understood a lot. <laughs> you did understand yeah. me quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Manel, for sharing. Who else? Let me hear you guys. What else did you hear or did you understand from the video? It makes me worry if I don't see hands. It just, it's like nobody understood anything. <laughs> Gracia, please. I I I don't know if I get the idea, but I understand that Ericsson wants to make the electronic wallet wallet because uh, everyone or the, or the majority of person around the world uh, be afraid are are afraid uh, for the risk or or a, or another risk mm -hmm. <laughs> when, when you have cash or they don't have a bank account because they they don't want the risk uh, and, and it, that's all. <laughs> that's true. I am one of those paranoid people. Ever since COVID, I, I am afraid of carrying cash. I never have cash. Like I always only have cards, my debit card and my bank, uh, my online, uh, the online bank, right? Those are the, my two tools. I never carry cash. And so yes, de esa amiga que cae mal porque nunca le cambio. I do. I am but that type I of think, person. I think in the, at this time it's better because you you get a lot of benefits with your uh, with your credit cards and mm -hmm. and you get and a lot of you points. Get, you get points. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's better. Yeah. One day I saw, I saw a meme. Um, un meme. One day I saw a meme that said. But it was in Spanish. It is algo como alguien me dio paja y ahora voy por la vida usando solo plástico para pagar. I feel identified with that. <laughs> so yes, that's a good point, Cristian and Manuel. It's related, right? Ericsson created the wallet, one of the with Western Union in Alliance. And now you're mentioning most people use that type of payment methods because they are afraid of the many risks of having to use cash for example right um if you think about it for a moment it's not the same if you go and take let's say one thousand dollars in cash from the bank and you're going to pay something else if you have them physically it's a lot of danger right but if you do a transaction over your phone it's really easy right so that's the thing 
Now, do I have more comments? Do we have more comments on the video? Yes, no. I'm worried, people. <laughs> you are making me get worried. But we're gonna do a reading right now. So to get a little bit more in depth, in depth about what is M commerce, right? The name mobile commerce, basically, right? Now this word in American English, we call it mobile. We don't say mobile, please. No, <laughs> we say mobile. Okay. So we're gonna be doing some reading. I need volunteers, please. The first person is gonna read the first two paragraphs. Another person is gonna read until the first example, financial services. Third person will read telecommunications and information services. And then we go, we're going to switch, okay? So, um, Christian, help me with the introduction, please, until here, until rapidly. Manuel, help me with this part until financial. And Wendy, help me telecommunications until the end. And Claudia, you're going to help me from types of M commerce until um, this one, mobile banking, until here, Claudia. Okay. Let's begin, please, Christy. Okay. What is M commerce? M commerce mobile commerce is the buying and selling of goods and services through wireless handheld device such as smartphone and tablets m-commerce is a form of e-commerce that enables users to access online shopping platforms without the use of desktop computer over time content delivery through wireless device has come faster more secure and Callable. As a result, mobile commerce has grown rapidly. Examples. Examples of e-commerce include in-app purchasing, mobile banking, virtual market marketplace apps such as the Amazon mobile app and digital wallets such as Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Wallet. Examples of e-commerce used in specific industries include the following. Financial services, mobile banking and brokerage transaction are done from mobile de devices. Hasta ahí, teacher? Yes. Okay. Telecommunications and handheld device are used to make service change and bill payment and to do account reviews, mm -hmm. uh, service and retail, me. Mm -hmm. Consumers place and pay for orders on the fly through um, online stores. Mm -hmm. Information service, but Financial, 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 financial sport, sports, traffic, weather, and many other news updates are access, accessible through a mobile device. Thank you. Claudia? Types of e-commerce. E-commerce is categorized based on the following three basic functions. Mobile shopping enables customers to buy a product using a mobile device with an application such as Amazon or a web app. A uh, subcategory of mobile shopping is app commerce, which is a transaction that takes place over a native app. Mobile banking is online banking designed for a handheld technology. Is enable customers to access accounts and brokerage services, conduct financial transactions, pay bills, and make the stock trade. This is typical done through a secure, dedicated app provided by the banking institution. As I yes, uh, on this part. Okay, mobile banking services may use SMS or chatbots in another conversational app. 
platforms to send out uh, to send out alert and track accounts activities. For example, there was chatbot. Chatbot lets the customer view their account balance, transfer funds, view loans, and conduct other transactions in real time through WhatsApp. Thank you. All right. And we need one more person for mobile payments, please. Let's see. One more volunteer to read mobile payments. Christian, please. Mobile payments are an alternative to traditional payment methods, such as cash, check, credit, and debit cards. They enable users to buy products in person using a mobile device, a mobile device. Digital wallets such as Apple Pay lets customers buy products without sweeping in cars or paying with cash. Mobile payment apps such as PayPal, Venmo, and Zoom serve the same purpose and are popular options. Mobile, mobile customer also are QR codes to pay for things on their mobile phones. With mobile payments, users send money directly to the recipient's cell phone numbers or bank account. Very good, thank you. So now we know M commerce, it's talking about mobile commerce, right? So anything related to handheld, handheld que se puede sostener en la mano, to handheld devices, right? From a tablet to a cell phone to a notepad, anything like that, in which you can do transactions, right? You can do mobile shopping, which is my favorite. <laughs> you can do mobile banking and you can do mobile payments. This is the part that I don't like, <laughs> all right? But yes, you have all three services that you can do from the palm of your hand, right? So that is what is known as mobile um, commerce or M commerce, according to that, okay? So we're gonna go back to the student's manual and I'm gonna share the screen with you. And here's what you're going to do, okay? You're going to go into the breakout rooms and you're going to create a conversation, okay? It has to be similar to this one in which one of the persons in the group is trying to use a, a, an app, right? A mobile phone application and it's having a problem and the other person is going to help it's going to give us steps to troubleshoot to help the other person to make the, the online purchase, right? And it, it has to include details like, did you try, for example, did you try using PayPal? Oh yeah, but this is only pay, this one only accepts PayPal from the US, for example, right? Any type of examples like that you're going to be doing right now. So you're gonna go into the breakout um, into the breakout rooms I'm gonna give you three minutes, three, 10 minutes to begin with. And then remember the conversation has to be similar to the one in the student's manual, right? One of you is trying to do an online purchase from your cell phone or your tablet and is having problems. And the other persons are going to help him or her to solve the problem, right? Again, be creative, don't make too short conversations, try to make enough type of conversation for each person, okay? The rooms are gonna be open right now. You can go in and you will have 10 minutes to begin with. What happened with the others that are not entering the rooms? Olga tuvo problemas para ingresar a la sala. ¿Me, me oye, Olga?
Hello, teacher. Uh, Hi. Sorry, uh, I, I'm arriving to to my house. Don't worry. Give me a moment. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. You don't have to participate in this one. You can participate in the next activity.
get back when the Dios. <laughs> we're gonna wait for the others to come back and we're, we will continue from there. Okay, now that we're back in the main session, let me just check with you guys. Did you finish the conversation already? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. All right, let me open the rooms again for you and you can go back. You have five minutes. They are open. Go back. You can go back right now. In your case, Juan de Dios, you're just going to wait here <laughs> until they come back. And for the next exercise, I will include you in the rooms.
All right, now that we're all back to the main section, we're gonna begin. We're gonna start with room number one and we have Ana Raquel, Manuel Antonio and Tatiana Michel, please. Okay. Thanks for calling to Banco Cuscatlán. How can I help you? Uh, thank you, Ana. Uh, I am Manuel, uh, could you help me? I'm trying to buy a cell phone in App Store, but my transaction is not complete because I have a problem with my credit card. Yes, let me check your account. Hold, hold on, please. Okay, I'm waiting here. The purchase Wait. needs to be approved. I will do it right now. Then you can uh, you can uh, realize uh, the transaction. Okay. Thank you, Anna. You are very helpful. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. So it was just Adam yes. Manuel. Yes, the yes, oh, okay. I don't feel okay today, but. I, okay. I I I not with the with the conversation, teacher. All right then, <laughs> thank you. But 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 she helped us uh, to do the conversation. Perfect, not a problem. Thank you, Ana, Tatiana, and Manuel. Very good job. It was a very fluent conversation. It sounded like a real life call, right? So very good job with that. Let's go with room number two right now. We have I don't know who is Galaxy A eleven. Um. And we have Mario Villeda and Silvia Suleima. Nelson. Oh, okay. So let's begin. Mario, Silvia, let's begin, please. Okay. Uh, Silvia, creo que empieza. Silvia, ¿de qué es Oh, yo. No, usted primero, si okay, um, hi. The weekend I bought a refrigerator online in Simam, but it sent the product I wanted. Ah, hello, Silvia. Why? Because I understand that Simam finally fill the deliver of the, the product. No, in my case, it's different because I ordered a two-door refrigerator and I received one with one door. Okay, but, but you, you can call customer service, so, so they can solve it? Yes, you have a reason. Thanks. Ring, ring. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I have a problem. The product I received isn't I wanted, and I need help me, please. Okay, sorry for the comment. I need your invoice and your address. Okay, I agree, but it's urgent uh, because I need in my business the refrigerator. Yes, we, we send someone to pick up the, the, the refrigerator. Okay, thanks. Very good. Hello, Hello Silvia. So, Yes, uh, right now is in process. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Only teacher. Very Only good, teacher. guys. None of you did any process. So that was very fluent. It was a very fluent conversation. So thank you for the effort. Room number two, well done. We're going to go with room number three. We have Carlos and, no, Carlos, no. We have Norma Carolina and Olga Marlene, please. Okay. Um, hi, Olga. I am trying to buy a beautiful red dress uh, through this Amazon app. Can you help me, please? Of course, Norma. 
just start your cell phone and open the app. Then visit the online store and choose your dress. I already choose the dress, but the platform requests my personal data, but I am not sure it's dangerous for me. Normal. To pay online is necessary that provide your data. Um, I don't know. I prefer buy the dress in a physical store. Thank you, Olga, for helping me. Okay, Norma, you must get use the digital platform because are the new technologies and you can do it more easy. Maybe later. I will practice this technology. It's new for me. Thank you, Olga. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Straight to the point. <laughs> Straightforward with the help with the help and the service. It's a very good job. Thank you, ladies. Let's go with room number five. In this one, we had Claudia Melendez, Jose Jonathan, and Wendy Maribel. No, so Claudia Melendez and Wendy Maribel, please. Hi, Wendy. I'm trying to buy some makeup in the app of Simam.com, but uh, yeah, something is wrong. I recently buy in the app and these are steps. Choose the product and add to the card. Introduce account or create a new account. Add your payment method. Which are the payment methods that I can use? I remember I, uh, I can use credit card, gift card, debit card. And there is another one. You can pick up in the store and pay delivery, and then they send you an order number. That's all, teacher. All right, thank you. <laughs> all right, customer support. Thank you for the effort, room number five. And we're going to go with room number six. We have Christian Natalie and Diana Elizabeth, please. Okay. Hello, Diana. I'm trying to purchase a new pair of shoes, but I don't know if getting this right. Okay, Krista, let me see what is the problem. Are you sure you're putting the complete information on the website page? Yes, I do, but I don't know the address where they will send my package because there was not option to choose. Oh, I get it. Give me a minute to confirm that information for you. Thank you so much, I'll be wait. Okay, Christian, your package will arrive to Metro Central's mail. Perfect, thank you for your help, Diana. It was a pleasure, have a nice day. Bye. Nice, thank you again, straight to the point, customer service, <laughs> very good. Most of these conversations, uh, conversations sounded like they were real life situations, right? Like that's the way they sound in real life. So very good job, everyone. That was really nice exercise. Before we continue, I'm gonna take attendance. And also before I forget, <laughs> bear with me for a moment. What day is today? The six. Six. Oh, here it is, Thursday six. Ana Raquel. Present. Thank you, Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you, Claudia Maria. Present. Thank you, Diana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Jorge Humberto. Jose Jonathan. Present. Thank you, Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Iber. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Concepcion. Present. Thank you. Maria Elena Guadalupe. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Gabarrete. Present miss. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Silvia Suleiman. Present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Michel. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Christian Natalie. Present. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go to the student's manual. We're going to go back to the student's manual. Bear with me. And we're going to check page 34. Okay. And we have exercise number four. You're going to match the expressions. You're going to match the expressions related to the descriptions on the right. Okay. So we have seven different sentences. So I'm going to give you guys five minutes to match them, right? So read the one on the left and match it to the correct one on the, on the right. I'm going to give you five minutes and then we can share which one is which, okay? That's individual.
All right, let's begin checking them. Number one, who wants to share number one? Volunteers. Or we need seven volunteers. Ocupo siete voluntarios. Levanten la mano y se les voy a asignar una cada uno. Let's begin, please. Thank you. Norma, read number one, please. Diana, number two. Let's begin, Norma. Social media platform. They enable the devel development, deployment, and management uh, of social media solution and service. Okay, let me check. Everybody else agrees? Yes. All right. Let's go with number two. Diana, please. Okay, mobile banking. It refers to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. Correct. Thank you, Diana. Wendy, help me with number three, please. No, no lo hice. Wendy, why didn't you do my exercise? <laughs> You're supposed Sorry. to be working, Wendy. <laughs> never, never. I bad with... ¿Cómo se llaman esos? Porchetes. Todas esas cosas. Jamás lo puedo hacer. <laughs> Ay, Wendy. <laughs> never, never. All right. Thanks for the honesty then. All right, Olga, let me read number three, please. Help me with number three, Olga, please. Olga, can you hear me? Um, I don't know if Olga is there or it's just connected. Sylvia, can you hear me? Can you help me reading number three, please? Uh, uh, digital purchase. Uh, for me, it's purchase for digital good complete directly from within an e-shop. Exactly. That's exactly the correct one, Sylvia. Thank you. All right, um, let's see, Mario, can you help me reading number four, please? Mario, can you help me reading number four? Do you hear me, Mario? I think people take breaks during the class. <laughs> Tatiana, please, number four. I think is any means of payment that exists purely in electronic form. That is correct. That is what we call a currency. In this scenario, digital currencies. Very good. Then we have number five. Manuel, help me with number five, please. Are you there, Manuel? Hey, teacher. I, I have a new uh, mobile ticket uh, is uh, uh, the processes whereby customers can obtain tickets using mobile phones. Exactly. That is correct. Thank you, Manuel. Number six, Anna, please help me reading number six. Um, The degree to which an entity can be successfully moved from one domain to another. All right. Does everybody else agree? Yes. Very good, Anna. Thank you. And number seven, we have ubiquity. Is the more what? difficult? Uh huh. <laughs> Read it, Manuel, please. With ubiquity. Uh, the characteristics of a service that's, that is available just about everywhere at all times. All right, that is true. All right, so for the next exercise, you're going to work in the breakout rooms, but this is going to be a research, an investigation. You're going to do a research. You're going to go online and find information about the birth, the nacimiento del M commerce, the mobile commerce and its evolution worldwide, okay? 
brainstorm on the milestone of the development of m commerce in this country, in this case, in El Salvador, right? And you're going to prepare a timeline comparing the development of the mobile commerce worldwide to how it was in El Salvador, okay? So, van a hacer una investigación, pueden googlearla, pueden ir en línea, van a trabajar en las salas, en grupos, van a ver, tienen que investigar desde cuándo y cómo nació el mobile commerce y cómo ha ido evolucionando en el mundo comparado con cómo fue aquí en El Salvador la experiencia que nosotros tuvimos, ¿ok? Cómo van mano a mano en el exterior con nosotros en esa área, right? And you're going to present the timeline afterwards. Van a, van a hacer su exposición después junto cuando regresemos acá a la main session, right? So, let me open the breakout rooms one moment. Let me recreate. Okay, you should be able to enter now to the breakout rooms. You're gonna have 10 minutes, then we will come back and check. And we can go from there. Silvia, what happened? ¿Qué le pasó, Silvia? No ingresó a la sala.
Silvia, ¿en qué sala estaba? Ah, creo que en la tres, me parece. Ok.
Okay, let me check. How are you doing with the exercise? Have you completed it, your presentation? Or do you need no. more time? All right, then I'm going to give you guys seven minutes. So you can go back to the rooms right now and you'll have seven minutes. Same teacher. Mm -hmm. Miss, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, we need to we need to do a, a PowerPoint presentation. It can be a PowerPoint presentation or it can be uh, just word images as you wish. But ah, yes, okay. you do have to present something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Nelson, ¿usted con quién estaba? ¿Perdón? ¿Con Wendy? Con, okay. con, ahorita, ahorita. Okay. En el uno, en el grupo uno estaba. Vaya, lo voy a mover, pero no acepte todavía. Yo le voy a avisar, Nelson. Todavía no. Ahora, Nelson. Wendy, igual la voy a mover. Todavía no lo acepto, yo le voy a avisar. Ahora, Wendy, se puede, ya puede ingresar a la sala. Hello, Norma, ¿con quién estaba trabajando usted? Con, con sí, Raquel, pero dice que tiene un problema ahorita. Sí, ah, vale. Sí, ok, en ese caso solo se va a quedar acá en la sala hasta que regresemos. Ok. Ah, bye.
Okay, now we're back to the main session. Everyone is here. And we're going to begin. Let's start with room number one. In this one, we have Claudia Melendez, Nelson, and Wendy Maribel. Let's hear you. Okay, sorry. Okay, good evening. Technologies never never study the design and uh, know what by it the, the piece of the technological progress more is faster and faster. And what was a possible trend last year? Must how do your business this year? That is we sorry. That is that is, is why it's uh, so important to keep help with the train and study on the truth of the width is the only way to success from from your business. I noted the impact of the technologies and removing the final to hold a school wise is or doing a business might be maybe fatal for you company, I am talking about investing in, in commerce with a non-even mobile commerce. Non people have a smartphone and they have the power to share for products and purchase the time, time much faster uh, and they can do it anywhere. As an entrepreneur, the about on a uh, machine it is uh, it is that a user can engage with your uh, business to buy your product or order service 24 7 from anywhere around the world this is a commercial baby okay okay internet there was a time when the internet was only available to a tiny percentage of people, but it grew like crazy, and soon every person could easily connect to it. Now we live in an era when the internet has become a bottomless bit of, of information and an integral part of our lives. You can get information about technological breakthrough that just happened a few hours ago. Watch your family show from your childhood and learn about the latest latest trends and methodologies in your niche. All that in uh, only a couple of clicks. Wendy. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um... <clears throat> Advances in technology have a low in higher level of development in humanity over the years for Salvador. It has not been the exception signs to social change have been experienced thanks to information and communication technologies, ICT, which through the internet have developed the way of do, doing business. However, there is still a long way to go to go. With the emergence of digital commerce in the nineties, businesses uh, found the door to generate contracts with customers and or supply. Make business decisions facilitated, bailing life allowing the taxation of goods and service at a lower cost lower in time or money. Part of all this progress achieved certain in developed countries is that I want to reflect on reflect, I'm sorry, reflect on the easy in which I seek to hide 
highlight positive and direct impact that the former goal of it all in the service. All right, thank you, room number one, for the presentation. Let's go with room number two. We have Carlos, no, we have Manuel, Mario, and Tatiana, please. Okay, hello, team. Uh, we're talking about the birth of in commerce and its evolution or why. If in 2003 you have pred predicted that in 2015 the average person will make their purchase from their mobile phone in commerce, they will probably have luck at you as if you had three purple tentacles moving out on your head. But well, uh, the year is 2015. 15, 15, and the reality is that the average person is doing much of their shopping from their mobile phone. You are doing your grocery shopping, clothing, electronics shopping, you are booking on vacation, and message and ordering pizza on a Friday night, on a Friday night, all from your mobile device. And you know, this is, it is better than even go to the to the place because it's faster and and everybody prefers that teacher. Mario. Well, as we talk about implementation of mobile commerce in Sabah, it's effective for 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 for, uh, for four reasons. First one, access to LinkedIn service. Internet access and more commerce users with the representation of the internet access in Salvadorian households has been slow. Nowadays, only 23.5% of households have internet access and the rural area only 4.1%. The second factor is financial inclusion. In football, the team Sabra Product allows to facilitate financial inclusion. This object is to promote financial inclusion, promote competition and the financial system, uh, as well to reduce cost for users or clients of the service system. Also, just adding to that, I was saying that 24% of Sabra prefer to make the payments and transfer personally using cash, regardless of wherever they have a bank account. Re number two, regulatory framework, regulation of uh, mobile commerce in, two nights, uh, in, two nights, in 2019, El Sabra approved the electronic commerce law. Uh, regulation for cons uh, consumer protection. Reason number three, infrastructure and logistics. In several ranks, 101 or 160, the logistic performance in the score to be a bearish of Latin America and final business capabilities. Um, according to uh, a survey, 89.8% uh, of employees of companies have not received any technical assistance. Only 8.7 is every day have received. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the timeline to compare the development of MA commerce worldwide in, in El Salvador is uh, uh, the emerging technology behind m-commerce is based in the interaction of wireless applications that have been more widely accepted in Europe where equipment equipment with micro displays is more common than in the United States in Latin America. Commodities and the way they are marketed have been one of the biggest changes in world culture. 
obviously drastic, transitory and important change for the emerging of the different economies, which some faster than others have managed to emerge and catch up with the digital powers, which have been the most influential and have set the tone in the way in which companies communicate today, adopting the tendency to compete through the purchase and sale of product and service on the web. That's all teacher. Thank you for your attention. All right, thank you guys. Thank you room number two, same as room number one, you provided accurate information and details. Thank you. We're gonna go with room number three. We have Diana and Olga, please. Okay, teacher, we're going to give the remix of the information <laughs> from All the right. other groups. Um, Olga is going to share the Yay, we have a presentation. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love okay. presentations. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. And I got to start. The development of technology and, and the constant search to solve the needs for the acquisition of goods and service are some of the key points in the evolution of electronic commerce. Mm. The evolution of e-commerce has been achieved thanks to the appearance of new technologies and tools, for example, internet, smartphone security protocols, credit cards, which have been and are used by people to sell and offer their goods and service in a diverse ways. But its development has also been generated because the importance of simplifying the buying and selling processes for people was understood, as well as the possibility of reaching a real number of people in the world directly and almost immediately. Um, right now, we can see that we start with the internet, uh, then birth the technology uh, through the computer, and right now, all people use the cell phone through the app for buy and sell it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, as you can see uh, at the picture, we're going to, to share with you how it was the evolution of, of M commerce in this case. Uh, we start like, um, like my classmate said, with the internet, with the creation of internet, and then start with the e-commerce, and then we get to the m-commerce. To speak a little bit about the internet, there was a time when the internet was only available to a tiny percentage of people, but it grew like crazy, and soon every person could easily connect to it. Now we live in an era where the internet has come become a boundless bit of information and an integral part of our life. The story of e-commerce begins somewhere between 1994 and 1995 when Amazon and eBay came around. We can call them the founders of a of e-commerce. Just think about it. You didn't have to spend the entire weekend going from to store to store anymore. You simply went to a search website, entered the name of whatever you wanted to buy, and you got flowed with websites where you could buy, buy it. Um, and in this way, you can see the evolution. Without the internet, we couldn't have uh, computers where you can buy and now that we all are all the time with our cell phones and um, that gives the opportunity to the e-commerce to start um, acting more than e-commerce and that's it teacher all right that's a good presentation it was very detailed thank you ladies good job also, your, 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 um, your slides were really cool. So thank you. 
Now we're going with room number four. We have Christy and Natalie and Juan de Dios, please. Hello, everyone. Uh, well, we don't have a, a presentation with the evolution of e-commerce because we understood that we need to present a timeline of uh, commerce of Salvadorian business. <laughs> well, that was, yeah, that was part of the presentation too. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, we talk about the, the evolution of San Nicolás, of Formas San Nicolás. Okay. Uh, I don't know if Juan de Dios sure. Ahí está. Ahí está. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, Timeline for San Nicolás. In 1965, was founded for San Nicolás in downtown of San Salvador by the Dr. Silhi selling medical products. Pharmacia San Nicolás is a Salvadorian company belonging to the San Nicolás Group, dedicated to the service and marketing of medicines. Next one, please. Sorry, is okay. Okay. Timeline Pharmacia San Nicolas. It was is the recite book of that first pharma pharmacy where the first pros were developed. Thanks to their excellent acceptance, they become the first product manufactured for mass distribution. And that is how Laboratorio Suisse was born in 1968. Okay, the group's about by Acquiring in 2009, the, cor the corporation CEPA distributor in El Salvador, which has positioned itself among the best distributor of pharmaceutical products in this country. In 2017, was inquired by Central Pharmaceutical, knows like a pharmaceutical products management. At this time, they have a sales online and you can uh, open the, the website and look for your product. You can buy, you can buy by category. Um, you can buy with your recipe, your medical recipe, and you can buy with the Seguro, I don't know how do you say insurance. It? Insurance. And it is at this moment in the present. Thank you. Very good job, guys. That was a very nice presentation. Congratulations. Now, um, just the thing, Thank you. para decir receta, decimos prescription, the medical prescription. Mm -hmm. Receta médica. Yes. Other okay. than that, excellent job, Chris, de Juan de Dios, and Maria Concepcion. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you for the Thank presentation. You. All right. We're going to take attendance. That's going to be it for tonight. We're going to take the attendance. We have um, Ana Raquel. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio. Claudia Maria. Present, teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Jorge Humberto. Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Manuel Antonio. Present. Thank you. Maria Concepcion. Present. Thank you. Maria Elena. Mario Ernesto. Presentation. Thank you, Nelson Gavarrete. Present, Miss. Thank you, Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Olga Marleni. Present, teacher. Thank you, Silvia Suleima. Present, teacher. Thank you, Tatiana Michel. Present. Thank you, Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Thank you, and Christian Natalie. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, Carlos Antonio Escobar. Okay, thank you, Carlos. All right, guys, just for uh, just a reminder, please be on time tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last class of the week. 
we will finish the module on Tuesday, ok? Tenemos tres clases más, mañana, viernes, la de lunes y el martes. Pero sí es importante porque los viernes, por alguna razón, siento que baja la asistencia. Pero ya está en la última semana que vienen en viernes, así que traten de estar presentes desde lo, los que puedan, claro. Desde el inicio de la clase hasta el final. Sobre todo si han faltado anteriormente, recuperen el tiempo en estas clases, ¿ok? I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night, night you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.